In this video, we are going to get started with Xcode and make a simple project. First of all, open Xcode. The Welcome to Xcode screen should appear. If it doesn't, click Window, Welcome to Xcode. Then, when it loads, click Create a New Xcode Project. This window should appear by default. If it doesn't, click Application under the iOS bar. For this example, we're going to make an iOS single view application. So click Single View Application and click Next. Type in a product name. I'm going to call it Hello World. The company identifier, you can put in a reverse email address. We can leave class prefix and in device family we would just use iPad. We won't be using any, any of these so you can uncheck these and click next. Next it will ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. Here for the source control, if this checkbox is ticked, every so often it will save a copy and if you make a mistake, you can go back to that version. I'll just leave a check for now. Click Create. For supported device orientations, I'm going to uncheck all of them except Portrait. Then, on the side, Click ViewController.h. At the end of this line, click Enter, then a curly bracket. Put a few enters, and then you should see that a curly bracket gets created at the bottom here. In between these two curly brackets, we're going to type in IB Outlet, and these are case sensitive. And what IB Outlet is, is it tells the operating system, so in this case iOS, that we're creating a user input or output device. For example, a label. Then we'll put UI label and it will tell it that we're creating a label. Then we'll put an asterisk. Then after the asterisk, you can name it. I'll just call it label. End of this line with a semicolon. After the bottom curly bracket, put a few more spaces in there. And put dash, then bracket, then type in IB action, and it will automatically have a suggestion of what to do. So you can just hit enter and accept it. In selector, you can name the action. In this case, I'll just call it action. At the end of the line, put a semicolon. In viewcontroller.m, at the top here, let's get some space and then put IV action and then have it like that. And then have action and then at the end here we'll just remove that and then we'll put curly bracket. Get some space in there. And then get some square brackets or semicolon at the end. Then we'll put self. And then we're going to make a void statement. And then we'll just call it We'll just call it void statement. We can remove some of the spacing. Then after that, we'll put dash two brackets and void. Then void statement. And then we'll put curly brackets. 
and then we'll put label label.text is equal to at and then two quotation marks and then a semicolon in here we just call it hello world and then we're done for there click view controller dot xib then it should load and zoom out on ipad applications um, so you just have to do it for there then click the objects tab here drag in a label resize it move it to the center then click this tab yeah, you can change the font size and the text color but well, we're just going to leave it there then grab a button and center it or put it wherever then you can double click it to rename it we'll put push Then we'll click the little circle with the arrow and then we'll click on file owner. Here for label, there's a circle. If you hover over it, there'll be a cross. If you click it and drag it, there will be a blue line. Drag it to the label. It should connect this to the label. Then for received actions, do the same for action and then just drag it to the button. This drop down menu should come up. Then click touch up inside and then we should be done. Click run or compile. The iOS simulator should start to load. You can check on the progress by clicking this all circle. Let's get out of it, click done. You can click the iOS simulator to bring up the simulator. And you can see that it's saying that it's running. So it has loaded, if I just click on the button, it should just say hello world. Then just go back to this window, click stop, and then it should stop the application from running on the iOS simulator. Then you can just click on iOS simulator and click quit. Save it and we are done. Thank you for watching.